What's up everyone? Today we're talking about initializing attribute sets using gameplay effects. And it will also be our first video where we're not writing code. Let's go. This first part could be considered optional, but I highly recommend it. We're going to use a spreadsheet to drive our attribute initialization. This will just make it easier for game designers to tweak values. The first column will be the name of our attribute. The second column is that attribute's value at level one. My game won't have leveling, so I'll just have the values for level one, which will be the base and default values for the attributes. Now that we have our spreadsheet all filled out, let's get this data imported into Unreal. Before we can do that though, let's create a folder called data, just to keep things organized. Next, click the import button or drag and drop the CSV file of your character attributes into the editor. You'll be presented with some options. Select curve table. You'll also be asked to choose an interpolation type. This is used to help fill in the gaps between data points. We have some options to choose from like constant, linear, and cubic interpolation. Today, we're just going to choose constant. If we open the curve table, you can now see our CSV data populating the table. And now that we have our data in Unreal, we can now use it to initialize our gameplay attribute set. We're gonna create another folder called abilities. And inside that folder, we'll have a subfolder called effects. Next, we're gonna create a new blueprint that extends the tutorial gameplay effect. This is the class that we previously created. We'll call this GE character attributes. Now this is where the fun begins. We'll start by giving this effect an ID. This will be used if we ever want to access or query this gameplay effect. The gameplay effects section of this blueprint is where we can add, remove, or manipulate our character stats. The purpose of this effect that we're creating is to simply define and set our character's base stats. We can do that by simply selecting the attribute from the dropdown. Select override for the modifier operation. We will leave the magnitude calculation type as scalable float. You'll see why in a second. We can select our curve table and then the property from that table. We are simply multiplying the value with the scalar by one, thus giving us the base value from our CSV file. Finally, we can open up our character blueprint, go to the default effects array, click the plus button and select the effect we just created, GE character attributes. If we press play, then open the console using the tilde key and type show debug ability system, we can activate UE4's debug view for the gameplay ability system. And we can now see our health attribute on our character and it is set to 100, just how we had it in our CSV file. Thanks for watching everybody. In our next video, we're gonna create our first ability, leveraging our character attributes.